guys kev here and let's talk about some knives real quick rapid review time so the first one up is going to be from best tech man this is going to be the good boy uh, i think i'm a little late to the show on this one i've showed it in live streams and such um but yeah let me kick on one more light there we go forgot i turned it off for something else um, so yeah, this is the good boy and this is designed by Keanu and, um, he designed this after his dog. Um, so he has a golden retriever, I believe that is his good pup and, uh, he designed it and named it after him, which is cool. I love this blue color. It really pops for me. Um, I showed it in a live stream and it had mixed, uh, reception. Some people loved it and some people hated the color. Uh, I think it's really cool. It is in D2 steel, if I remember correctly. Yep. Um, but that is how they are keeping the prices down for their Best Tech Man line. Um, we all know Best Tech is not the cheapest company out there, so they're doing what they can to, um, you know, make it affordable. The finishing on the G10 is gorgeous. The design language is gorgeous. The thickness of the handle is gorgeous. This is probably the best... Um, best tech man or sort of low level budget knife that I've seen in a long time. I mean, that includes all of what Senkut does, all of what um, Kaiser's new Laconic series has done so far, anything Bostied, you know, like it really is a beautiful design in my opinion. You have that nice collar around the button lock um, just the details are really nice in my opinion. Um, I like the finish on the blade. It's D2, so it's good that it's coated. And then you have a really solid spring in there on this button lock. I'm not the biggest button lock fan these days, but this one, it really pops. And, I mean, you can reverse flick it, no problem. And if you time it right, it'll suck it right in. Um, it's very ergonomic. It's a good size knife. So for all you big knife folks out there, I'll grab the uh, trusty six inch ruler here. Um, you know, we're looking at three and a half to the handle and let's say four and a half on, sorry, uh, three and a half on the blade, four and a half on the handle. So you have an eight inch knife, which is pretty much perfect for 90% of people will be accepting to this size of knife. Good reverse grip, nice landing spot here, reversible clip, just, yeah, some cool stuff going on there. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about the, uh, good boy from Keanu. He's got some new designs coming out, I believe. And uh, that's very cool stuff. You can get this one, I believe, on Amazon and directly from Best Tech Man. I will link whatever I can down below for all of these knives. If you use my links, it usually helps the channel, so I do appreciate it, but you do not have to. Best Tech Man did send me this knife to review, so it will probably go into my pass around or get given away. Um, the next one is from my buddy Brent backpack b he loaned in the uh wear knives lucas nope wolf p sorry um and this rapid review session is going to be mixed premium and budget um the wolf p here is very cool i gotta say so far this is my favorite wear production knife i have not been able to handle the alley p yet I am a sheep's foot warning type guy, so that might take the crown at that point. But this to me is better than the uh, Lucas P. You know, he fixed that clip location. I like the just design a little bit better. Um, I love this slim down handle. It really reminds me of the Brian Brown Raptor, not in a copy way, just in a similarity way. Nice and slim design. Um, there's a knife that recently dropped from um, Keenison called the Fido, I believe. And something about that knife doesn't really uh, sit with me well. Um, I, You know, great dudes. I'm just saying the design, right, isn't for me. And I think part of it is you have such a slim handle, and then the blade comes out, and it's, like, just as slim. 
where this has that really cool contrast of having sort of a tallish blade come flying out of this thin handle, right? And I just think that looks crazy and cool, but yet also looks basic and simple. It's, it's you know, unique. It's comfortable in the hand. You have a flat spot here to choke up. This is how I would always hold a knife. I always find it funny for those people out there that only hold knives in these back grips. I just wonder... I mean, maybe you're doing more heavy use than I am. You're slapping at stuff or something. Um, but I'm always choked up just trying to do these, you know, nice slices and cardboard or utility cutting or whatever. Um, but so I'm always testing a knife and a choke up grip. And if I can't choke up, you know, usually uh, nine out of ten times, I don't want that knife. Um, this is a best tech build and they did a great job. Um, this feels all parts like it came from Riot, like the last run best tech is really stepping up their game look at that finish on this titanium that's probably my favorite i've seen best tech do titanium um, whatever they did to that maybe an aluminum oxide blast or something you can see the snail trailing that's what happens with that kind of finish kind of similar to um, a jack wolf here right very very cool um, you have this coating on the blade. It does seem to have a slight tumble, maybe it'd be a black wash. It looks great. Now, there is an elephant in the room here, okay? I love this design. I really like this knife. I can actually uh, lefty flick it pretty well. Um, but the elephant in the room for me are these pivot collars. I just don't understand what is going on here. Um, they honestly look like something I put together out of like, I don't know, a Lego box or something. Like, I don't know how to put that into words. They just look terrible to me. The The way they stick out of the handle and then the DLC coating is like just thick and like slobbed on there, it seems like. It's one of the reasons I don't like pure DLC like that, especially on blades, because it just looks like paint. It looks like plastic to me, right? Doesn't it look like a kid's toy almost? I don't know, that just stands out to me when the rest of the knife is damn near flawless. Now, these are expensive. That's the other thing. They're like 400 bucks. I can tell you Best Tech is expensive. Um, I don't know if they're that expensive, but they are expensive, so I could see the price getting up there. Um, but yeah, it's well done. Detent's good. Everything feels crisp um chamfer like everything's really good on this knife i just don't love the pivot collars i think maybe had i seen a different version that might i might feel different like if these were blasted instead of that black color um but yeah this makes me excited to try the alley p whenever that does come along so that's the wolf p very very cool that came in from my buddy backpack b Switching gears to a giant mammoth from Concept. Uh, and again, links to all these will be down below. This is a K Maxron design. It's the Calibri Tech. And, you know, this one's going to be short. It's a 10 inch monster. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. And I just, you know, this one's not for me. That's the best way for me to put it. It's cool. It's extremely well made. It has beautiful milling on it. Um, everything's really well done and everything. It's just not for me. I hate the flipper tab. Um, it needs jimping. Like why, you know, why no jimping? The thumb studs are pretty good. I think it should have just been a, a thumb stud knife. I think it would have looked a lot cleaner too with just the studs on it. Um, the front flipper is okay, but the problem is for me to get it, because I don't have enormous hands, I end up getting awfully close to this flipper tab and getting pinched by it. So I have to climb down here and then try to front flip, and it makes it really hard. So if you have huge hands, I think it'll work better, but this is an absolute pocket sword. Um, it's cool. It's just, again, not for me. That's the Calibri Tech from Concept. And speaking of concept, they sent me the Nest Street. And when they sent it to me, I asked, they let me choose. And I said, I want to check out this shred carbon fiber one because I really wanted to see this shred carbon fiber. 
And then it came with this Damascus blade, and um, it's actually really nicely done. I am giving this one away. It is uh, probably already shipped out to the new owner, so congratulations to whoever you are. Um, so you won't be able to enter anymore by the time this video goes up, but um, thought I'd mention that. They were the ones who um, contacted me and said, would you want to do a giveaway with us? And I said, sure. And I said, we can, you know, we can give away the Nest Street. And they said, well, we'll send you a G10 one to replace it. And then maybe you could like compare them or something. So um, I was fine with just giving it away. I mean, they gave it to me. So it wasn't like I was losing anything. Um, but they were kind enough to replace it, which is pretty cool. So now I have this budget version in G10. And the blade steel on this guy is 154 cm and i gotta say this looks a lot cleaner on the blade like if you could put this blade on this handle i don't know i think i'd love it um but i do sort of feel the more premium feel with this one i think it's just lighter because it's the carbon fiber um but otherwise i don't know if anything is really different um Maybe it just feels that way because of the carbon fiber. That carbon fiber just really feels nice. Um, nice, strong detent. And you have a beautiful sheep's footy blade. This one is designed by Karambit Maker. Um, that's the actual name of the maker or designer. And uh, this one also has a nice detent. Good action. You can see that G10 there. Um, both are really good. I gotta say, they did a great job. This is a cool model. I think a lot of you guys are gonna dig this. Again, it's not small. It's right in that perfect range, I would say for most people. Three and a half inch blade, right? Yep, three and a half inch blade, and then um, a little less than four and a half on the handle. So 7.75 or so on this guy, which is really nice. And uh, for me, this grip does feel comfortable. I was just saying I never use it, but this does feel comfortable. Now, I would choke up for most cutting, but um, it's nice to know it works in both grips. Um, so there's a little bit of a comparison for you, and um, I will get this guy probably into the pass around, and this guy is off to its new home. Shout out the concept for providing both of those and letting me give one away. That's pretty cool, right, guys? Um, now, the last knife is going to be another one from my buddy Brent. This is probably the coolest knife, the nicest knife, my favorite knife out of the bunch, and I'm surprised by it. I did not expect to fall in love with this knife. I thought it was going to be good, um, but from the pictures and everything, the design wasn't like really up my alley. Um, this is a Dave Warren design from Tuya, and I love Dave. Dave's a great dude. Um, I find it interesting that the show side pivot is on the lock side. It's kind of weird, right? Because of the collar, I guess. Um, but to be honest with you about this knife, it feels more like a best tech. Um, and I mean that in the best possible way, right? Two years good, but, um, this feels better. This feels a step up for them. Honestly, this came out around the same time as the mutt and the mutt is a great knife. Uh, that one's a design with Dave Warren and Colin, my uh, business partner on Devo and, this blows it out of the water, I think, um, quality-wise. This just feels on a whole new level. Um, it has amazing frag-patterned titanium. Look at that. Just gorgeous. It really is. Has beautiful thumb studs that just pop. A really nice top flipper, front flipper, sorry, with tons of jimping up and around, like, they're listening, right? Dave's listening to us. Excellent rollback, excellent thumb flick. The D10 is absolutely dialed to perfection. 
And then you have this really nice dual grind blade. And this is something you don't see a lot. I feel like we have seen knives like this, Chavez, RR Standard. But usually I feel like they're a little taller in the blade. And then this portion right here ends farther closer to the tip. So you'll kind of have this transition like right here, right? You have this transition here. You have this short amount of flat up here. This gives you a good amount after that transition. So you have a really defined, nice, deep, hollow grind. And then a really nice flat grind up here for, you know, where you're going to do a little bit more pokey pokey or something like that. Um, I mean, it just feels, I mean, the detent is crisp, pops, dead nut centered. I mean, yeah, I'm just, I love it. This is my favorite Tuya knife ever made, and I totally regret not getting one. Um, I think these might be available, but when they came out, I sort of remember Dave saying, um, hey, man, I have the Wrath, and I have the Mutt coming out, and he said he'd send me one of them, and I wanted to check out the Mutt, and I kind of regret doing that because this knife is top notch. Uh, this is one of the best knives of 2023. Yes, I said it. This is in the knife of the year running for 2023. That's how good this knife is. By the way, it's an S9DV. So, I mean, and I bet you it's like 250 bucks, you know? Um, if they're all like this one, it's a freaking home run. I mean, it really is. Look at the action on this thing. It's just bananas. You could even probably slap some O-rings on there. It's got those studs like on the uh, barber that I love. See that? I mean, dude, Riot quality. It's that good, guys. That belt satin is gorgeous. <sighs> Man, yeah. I regret it. That's for sure. So, you can get a little lanyard post for the uh, seven of you guys. But, yeah. So, there you go. That is the Wrath. I saved the last, the best for last, sorry, uh, from Tuya. And then you have the Concept Nest Street in two versions here. We have the uh, Concept Calibri Tech Pocket Sword. And then we have the Wolf P. Absolutely fantastic knife. With one really odd thing on it for me. And then the budget boy. The good boy from Best Tech Man. Let me know what you guys think down below. Which one's your favorite out of the bunch? Um, do you think this is one of the best knives of the year? Because I am smitten with this thing. Uh, big shout out to Backpack B for letting me check this out. I really appreciate that. Because otherwise I probably would have never gotten my hands on this. Um, and I wouldn't know how fantastic this knife is. So if you guys are on the fence about this one, or, um, uh, you are trying to find a new banger in that 250 range, check out the two year wrath. I think you will absolutely thank me later. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.